Yeah, warm uh, welcome to the session on the, our mindful open online dialogue. Could you just give me a short uh, hint if you can see my screen and audio is working? Super, thanks uh, Steffi. Yeah, so uh, I'm Rebecca working at ZF and here my main um, yeah, job at the moment is making sure that competency development in the quality area is going in a structured way. And I have two uh, yeah, corporate uh, hobbies uh, while I'm here today. One is community management. So we will look at the example that I will share from a community manager's perspective, how to set up a mindfulness initiative. And the other corporate hobby is mindfulness. So mindfulness at ZF uh, isn't organizationally anchored yet, although um, yeah, by now we also have acceptance from a management level, but still a grassroots uh, community. Yeah, and uh, without further ado, I will uh, jump in. What I will do right now is um, explain how a mindful open online dialogue could be used for community engagement. So uh, what is the tool set that we use to set this up? How could this look like? So maybe this could be an idea uh, for your community as well, but also uh, give a short introduction on how we set up a mindfulness initiative. Maybe some of you are passionate about mindfulness and think about starting a, a community in your own organization. And the third aspect, if there are some learning uh, enthusiasts uh, here and you'd like to set up like more informal learning sessions, I can really encourage you to do so. Actually, the mood, why it's a mute mood that uh, is based on the last bar camp that we had, maybe you joined. We plan to call it a MOOC, but there uh, a colleague shared that they actually do a dialogue instead of a course. So that's uh, what we are planning. Yeah, so if we put this into a community uh, management uh, context, I uh, just lent this community life cycle of Bosch that's also in the Learn, uh, Learn OS uh, circle for community uh, management to explain a bit where we are with our mindfulness community now uh, that our mood uh, kicks in. So idea, uh, use case that's already two years ago, beginning of 2019, we got started with a concept, creation, ramp up, go live and so on. So the community is running for two years and yeah here that's rebuilding but actually rather I would call it fine-tuning or realignment. Why do we set up this mood and why are we renaming our community? In the last uh, months, there were a lot of requests for the community around stress management and resilience. So it really seemed like the importance for the topic mindfulness or rather how to strengthen inner resources uh, became more and more relevant for most of us. And yes, we are. We got more and more requests. We were thinking about maybe pushing a bit the alignment in the community from just giving a general overview on mindfulness and organizations towards really focusing on mini practices to strengthen inner resources, to strengthen uh, resilience. So that's the, the point and time where we are with the mindfulness uh, initiative from a community management aspect. Before I dive more into the mindful open online dialogue, just a short introduction, what we at ZF understand with mindfulness. And yeah, actually a regulation of attention so that we can consciously decide where our attention is at the moment, like focused uh, right now, jumping into my autopilot or having some space between trigger and reaction. So a training of the mind that uh, is relevant for us as an individual to get the things done that we want to get uh, done, that we want to drive to keep our energy, um, our energy level up for teams. I don't know how you experience that, but for me, um, if we don't open the cameras, like the team feeling now working virtually gets quite difficult. And to make sure that people really listen to you and don't dist get distracted uh, by their Outlook uh, inbox box. And then the 
third organizational uh, level to also uh, have an influence there. Uh, how do we work together? How do we uh, listen to each other? And um, yeah, we also put mindfulness in the context of ambidexterity. And what you can see here is the dual operating model that we use at uh, ZF. So excelling, being really strong and very efficient and focused in what we are doing and exploring, opening up to the new because yeah, we are in the automotive sector. We need to open up to doing things uh, differently. And that's where we added the aspects of uh, mindfulness. I just see Louise uh, joining. This will sound familiar to you because this is based on the Mindful Leadership uh, Institutes. So one is re resilience to realize that my check engine light is on and to um, yeah, take actions to recharge my batteries, to focus truly and to not get distracted by all different channels around me thinking out of the box, being open to yeah, try something new, being truly connected with myself and also truly connected with the others and groundedness, not being swept away by um, all the changes around me, by organizational restructuring uh, measures, insecurities, but really yeah, calming down. So those are the focus topics that we in general now are um, addressing in the community. If we look at this on a behavioral uh, level from where we are today to what behavior are we uh, looking for is one uh, being lost in change and towards a more anchoring and a calm presence, being really stuck in thought uh, cycles towards thinking out of the box and not thinking about but but and we always did it uh, that way. Check engine light on towards resilience from the more tribal ape within us who thinks us and them they do the things uh, strangely, we do them right, to appreciating diversity and a monkey mind to focused uh, attention. So that as an introduction to the mindfulness initiative and what we want to achieve at uh, ZF, what's the community story if we again take more the perspective of the community uh, manager? So we started in the beginning of 2019, our uh, community. And to be honest, um, I didn't really know what I was doing. So I just thought, OK, let's try it. I got some, um, some questions around mindfulness. And this was really boosted by the Mindful Leadership Institute. I did a training there as a trainer for mindfulness and organizations and by the uh, associations of mindfulness. Because what you can see here is one, uh, our community in the beginning. So what is mindfulness? What can be the relevance in a business environment? That was the first target that we were looking at. And the um, other thing that you can see is uh, kind of the roadmap. So you can see that's not like the classical community canvas that we used or not a process, but more a network of things and of activities that we are doing to get from the current state to a future state with a coalition partners in our organization. And um, this um, kind of roadmap as, as a blueprint that we developed in the associations, if you would like to, um, if this template could be helpful for you, please let me know and um, I will share that. So that was um, the first uh, step. Um, getting started the kickoff. Then the second step uh, was yeah, finding uh, some great uh, people, a co-creation team. And then we started a learning journey. So the first thing was to um, yeah, give some value add of people joining our community that maybe the action level of people who are just cur curious doesn't need to be too high, um, but they can just sit in and listen. So we ask, what are you curious about? Then we uh, set up a session, created a flyer, drafted four focus topics that we um, will be um, looking at, and then uh, created this uh, journey.
step second step in a community uh, journey um, yeah i really discovered here that co-creation uh, rocks and what power there is even if you don't have a department focusing on things and most of you leading communities uh, yeah will know that we then started regular community offers, uh, monthly community calls, and weekly train your mind sessions with live online meditations, the first leadership uh, training in October 2019. So more people are joining in the community, um, co-creation team getting stronger, yeah, offering more great things. And now we're at the point that we are renaming the community and kind of, like I said, realigning. And uh, we do that by mindful open online uh, dialogue. So the story uh, continues. Like I said, we're now focusing on strengthening inner resources. We realized in our community, well, strictly from a formal point of view, it's not only mindfulness uh, practices that we do. Smiling, is it a mindful practice? I think uh, yes, but maybe from a scientific point of view, uh, doubtful. So that's the, the focus. And we thought, hey, let's um, let's explain a bit more about this renaming this focus and try to raise the engagement level of our participants. And that's the uh, result, a mindful open online dialogue. So an explanation what mindfulness can mean and really the question to exchange uh, about it and get the opinion of others and um, discovering what kind of resources we have at ZF around those topics and yeah, encourage people to share those. So you see here it's a three months uh, open online course. First one being online, focusing on resilience and on focus. Uh, the most requests that I receive around mindfulness are really about managing the distractions and resilience at the moment. The other a brave new world, intuition and innovation, tapping into the new, um, dealing with the inner critic, holding us back here and togetherness, uh, connection and growth. You also see here that, um, yeah, actually we decided on the topic so that we could do nearly everything. So there was just a rough clustering of what we were looking at. So three months um, courses and weekly reflections, just one pages like the one you see here with ideas on the Monday morning. What could I focus on this week? Uh, for example, releasing your, your habits or doing a short mindful practice um, just as a teaser. And in May, we are planning to close this uh, mindful open online dialogue with a mindful toolbox and a hackathon. So we want to store all the resources that we now uncover in a more structured way than we are uh, currently doing that. And maybe to give you a bit more in-depth um, insight into how this platform uh, looks like. So that's a, a virtual events page that we use at ZF. Explanation, um, rather technical uh, instructions. And then here you can see those are different sessions that we're offering and people can just freely join in. No need to register. Maybe quite similar to our C3 um, bar camps, but uh, you can just uh, uh, join. And we started with a, a set of sessions just by very engaged community members. But actually, since we started, um, there were really some new people um, yeah, being willing now to, to share. So um, an input on mindful time management that was just added two weeks ago, uh, a colleague of uh, yeah, Eastern uh, Europe who shares pranayama breathing session uh, with an Indian uh, background, a yoga teacher who gives an introduction. So um, yeah, I'm uh, really inspired how yeah the engagement level increase and how people take more action in yeah sharing what they know about and what helps them in strengthening their inner resource. So that's kind of the, the results and the output of uh, the mood. Any um, questions before I dive more into techni technicalities, the toolbox and how you could you could set up a mood up? Let's 
seems like no questions. Don't hesitate. So um, whenever you're curious about something, you'd like to dive deeper, uh, just let me know. Yeah, so if you feel like, hey, that could be interesting to do a, um, a mindful open online dialogue as well, how could you do that? I think most of you are in a, a corporate environment. You have social intranets, you have the opportunity to, um, at, let's say the technical uh, basis to set up communities. And yeah, that's kind of the, the foundation. Then, of course, engaged people, and that's not focused on a mindfulness community or uh, this mood, but it really, um, yeah, uh, that's one of the key success factors. I feel people who are passionate about a topic and share that. So co-creation team, for us, this team is changing. Sometimes people uh, jump into the team when they feel especially um, engaged with the topic that we're doing. Sometimes people step out uh, again. Then, um, yeah, we did a very rough draft of the concept. What do we, do we actually want to do? Um, to do the renaming, to change a bit the focus of the community. So that's when we decided a mood could be helpful. What is the target? And also already a reality check with the resources that we have and the technical environment, how much effort uh, is this? And can we really do that? So actually quite early, we checked what could be the platform? What's the administrational effort? Do we want to go ahead? And that was really um, just, I think, two, two meetings in two hours. So from an HRD perspective, really fast to set up a development program. So also if you're a learning specialist, this could be really interesting. Just starting with a, what do I want to achieve? What kind of competency do I want to grow? Uh, and a rough uh, structure like we did here for March, April and May. Then how do we achieve it? So what are really the activities that we want to do? What a kind of communication do we want to use? And what kind of templates can make it easy for new colleagues to jump in? So they don't have a lot of effort, but basically they can just use a template and then share their idea. And you can also see here, um, that's really basic. We just used an um, Excel template for a calendar function, then said, okay, every Monday, there will be a mindful micro practice, a reflection, who will post it in a community, who is interested in sharing a practice and could do that and when, and monthly uh, wrap up sessions that we wanted to, to open. So quite easy and what I would really recommend setting up a PowerPoint template for speeches to make it really fast for colleagues to join in. So uh, one is the templates that we that we did and the other is the structure. So all, we always start in the same way, explaining what the mood is all about, connecting with the strategy of uh, ZF, the topic, activation of the um, the participants, practice sharing, making sure we collect the practices uh, that we discussed in a mindful toolbox and then uh, the outro. Yeah, and then um, I think another success factor was to not think about it too much, not to have the desire to have this as a perfect uh, development program, but just getting started and being open to letting it grow uh, along the way. And yeah, that's actually also a question for you because what we know is we'd like to do a hackathon at the end of the mood in May, but uh, nobody did a hackathon yet. So if any of you has a blueprint and you would have an idea on how to set this up quite easily and uh, straightforward, that would be uh, really appreciated. And of course, I'm really willing after we're done to share back our lessons learned. Yeah, that's uh, where we are in the community. We just had a, a quick look at uh, our roadmap and our ideas, and that's yeah how our, our story at um, ZF with mindfulness will continue. We'll really work on making resources um, 
passion, expertise available so that it's really easy to just try mindfulness in an organizational context out. Foster practice sharing so that it hopefully becomes normal to start with, um, yeah, breathing in uh, deeply when starting a session like you did so beautifully, uh, Steffi, in the uh, beginning, or taking a minute to arrive, or when you feel stressed in a lunch break to just have a 15 minute meditation break. And connecting across organizational boundaries, that's uh, another topic, again, with uh, the associations uh, for mindfulness, where we're thinking about how can we more learn from each other across organizational uh, boundaries, um, similar to what we are doing here around community management. So if you're curious, please also let me know and yeah, check out the page of the associations. You will find many like minded people if you'd like to dive into mindfulness more deeply. Yeah, and now I'm really open for questions, uh, feedback, anything yeah, you'd um, you would be curious about uh, feedback if you'd like to start your mood tomorrow or rather no. Cool, I see Simon is sharing we have some hackathon blueprints, so that's very promising. Yeah, well, thanks a lot for joining uh, the session. And like I said, uh, I can really encourage you, A, to just do informal and social learning programs, uh, maybe without designing uh, too much. That's what I learned to let my professional HRD specialist sometimes uh, sit down and just do things more quickly. And yeah, the other and communities continuously thinking about ways how to engage your participants. There will be always uh, new members uh, coming up. And then the third to think about maybe ways how you can yeah, strengthen a more mindful way of approaching the way how we do business and how we work together. Thanks a lot. And we have four more minutes for a coffee chat or for your decision on how you want to move ahead in our bar camp today.